Buddy, do you always whistle when you do the books? Uh, no, I, I whistle when I'm happy. Oh, man, you're one of those guys. Yeah, I guess I watched too much Andy Griffith as a kid. <laughs> so what's got you in this disgustingly good mood? Chelsea and I are engaged. Oh, wow. Where yeah. you go with that? That's, that's, I mean, you really jumped on that, that... That ain't come out the way it was going in my head. Sorry for that, but I mean, I guess with the baby coming, the clock sticking, and that's that's great. Yeah, that's thanks. Really? Yeah. Are you sleeping with my wife? It's true. You know, I wish I was still publishing Restless Style because it's the exact type of garbage that sells. Just answer the question. Kevin, I'm not sleeping with Chloe, okay? Why is half the town talking about it? Because my wife is spreading it faster than you can say she kicked me out of my house last night. Why would she say it if it's not true? Because she's jacked up on hormones thanks to these fertility treatments, and she is ultra-sensitive, and she's a little bit paranoid, and I think a touch delusional. Okay, but why you and Chloe? Why would her head go there? Because she saw me comforting her the other day, and she misinterpreted it. Define comforting. Listening. Being a friend. Because her husband was too busy being a jerk. Hey, I'm not the one trying to get in the way of someone else's marriage, okay? Neither am I. I'm not, I swear. So stop coming up with phony excuses as to why Chloe left and think of the real reason. That's you, bud. Stop comforting my wife and tell yours to keep her mouth shut. Sorry I'm late. You Looks like you're in a jam. Oh, man, I don't want to bring you down now that you're about to tie the noose. Not, you know, I'm with the knot. Oh, oh, come really. on, buddy. I'm joking. Really, though, when it's clicking, nothing like it. Yeah, my mom and uh, pop had that kind of marriage, the clicking kind. Well, ask them how they do it, because, man, I'd really like to know. They're both gone now. I'm sorry. Yeah, my uh, pop uh, just passed recently. Uh, he and I used to talk about him standing up for me at my wedding one day. You guys were close? My whole life, especially since I got back from overseas. You know, my mom had died and my dad just sort of clung to me. I miss him. I know how you're feeling. My dad was the best guy I ever knew. <clears throat> so, anyway, when's the big day? What's, what's the date? Well, you know, that's, uh, that's the tricky part. We really haven't picked a date yet. Why, what's so tricky? Avery. You know, she just announced her engagement to, to Nick, and, you know, I don't want it to look like I'm trying to steal their thunder. Okay. I'm hoping things are making a little bit more sense to you now in the light of day, and that you let me come home. <clears throat> I need you, Vic, in every possible way, and I don't think I can beat this thing without you, so. Call me back. Okay? At least let me hear your voice. Everything's better when I can hear your voice. I love you. Bye. I love her. Oh, do not even joke about that. This non-affair of ours is taking on a life. Yeah, tell me about it. Now Kevin is accusing me of having an affair with you. Sorry, I drug you into my problem. What problems are you talking about exactly? The one that you're holding in your hand or the one that you're having with Victoria? One and the same. Are you gambling again? No. Yeah, a little. Okay, and I knew Victoria wouldn't approve, so I had the good sense of doing it behind her back. So she thought that you were getting someone on the side. So 
So when she saw what looked like an intimate conversation between the two of us, she automatically Well, you have to set her straight. I did set her straight. I told her the truth. And she would rather believe that I'm having an affair instead of just making a few innocent bets. There's nothing innocent about it. Not for an addict like you, Billy. Before you fix anything with Victoria, you need to fix yourself first. As much as I appreciate your concern, Chloe, there's really no need to continue this conversation. Yeah, why don't you tell it to Delia when you bet her entire college fund on a roll of the dice? Don't do that. Delia's fine. There's plenty set aside for Delia. I'm not worried about money. I'm worried about my daughter being around a gambling junkie. Can you take it easy with that term, junkie? It doesn't apply. I've got everything under control. Yeah, and that's what all addicts say. <laughs> How am I supposed to trust you around my daughter? How do I know that you're actually going to drop her off at school and not take her to the racetracks? I mean, what, are you going to teach her about parlays and trifectas? What's wrong with that? That's practical math. I'm serious, Billy. Oh, come on, No, relax. you come on. Victoria got into some serious trouble because your gambling problems came back to bite you. And what if it happens again? What if Delia gets abducted? All right, stop right there. Nobody's touching Delia. Nobody's getting in trouble with anything. Nobody's touching anybody, okay? This stuff that I'm doing, it, it's, it's penny ante. It's nickel and dime stuff, that's it. Yeah, penny, nickel, dime. And then the price just keeps on going up. You gotta stop before you're ahead, before it's 20,000, 50,000, before you're in too deep. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Let me help. You want to help me? Fine. Good. You can start by explaining to Victoria that there's nothing going on between us. How about that? How can you even begin to...